Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I look so white. Something's wrong with this camera. But I'm going to be doing an updated brow routine because my brows have changed and I have used different products which I believe are way better than way before. Um, so I'm just going to start by clipping back my hair. Um, just so nothing is in my face. Yeah, I need to do that again. So just in case, you know, oh by the way there's a lot of frames in the back because right now we are redecorating and um, painting right now our house and it's basically getting remodeled. This is supposed to be my filming room. I will be taking everything out and then making it better. So, And also I will be taking you guys on a journey on how I did it and how I get to do my filming room. So um, we're going to start off by using the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. I use it for the brows and I use this ankle brush. I only dip a little bit of it. Grab your spoolie. Is this called a spoolie? I think it's called a spoolie. And just like mark out where your eyebrows are. And I actually did clean mine up today. I mean yesterday, not today. I cleaned mine up because I had a lot of hair. So I did clean mine up. Um, I usually go get them done um, waxed it's a little bit more easier than threading it's, it takes a long time um, wax is just like bam you can take it off so I'm not gonna talk to this through this part and I'm just gonna mute it um, but you're just going to fill in your eyebrows Okay guys, so this is basically how they turn out. Um, they're okay, I mean they get really dark, but I don't like them really dark. I want some faded effect here. So I do, I do this like what you guys are seeing. Alright, so I did zoom you guys in. I hope you guys could see me. Um, so, this is what I do every day. Um, also, when you guys pick this out, you guys could also use the Anastasia, Anastasia one, but um, I use this one. And this is called the Elf Eyeliner, if you guys are wondering again. I'm in the color Coffee. Um, the only reason I got a dark one is because my hair was black and um, yeah so I needed it and now I have a different colored hair it's brown so, um, basically I'm going to talk through this one now because this one's a little bit more messed up and I'm going to show you guys how I fix that up so um, I do have like this little dent here where I have no hair as you guys can see no hair or, or whatsoever here so what I like to do is I like to brush it out so it looks like I have a little bit here and um, there's just that little dent there so what I like to do is I like to make like I have like a, a arch here. like so so they look kind of alike And I just fill them in. And also, for all the people wondering, I do not fill them in um, through the top. I don't want them to look too squared. I do it halfway. All right. So this is what it's looking like. Sorry. Okay. Um. So yeah, I do not fill it in through the front of it. Um. 
I do just halfway of it or one fourth, whatever you guys would like to call this. Um, but I I swear to you guys that this turns out really good. Um, okay, so now that my brush is kind of like cleaned, cleaned out with no more, I didn't put no more on. So hold on. All right, they kind of look weird because people love their eyebrows squared. And here, I don't know if I'm recording, but am I even in focus? Yeah, okay. Um, so people do like them squared, but this is what I like to do. Here, I get the excess that's on the brush and I put it in the front like so. And I make little kind of hairs going up. And same to the other, other eyebrow. And that's your squared effect. I really hate my eyebrows, but this is what I have to work with. Now we got the square, but they're too big, so that's what I don't like. Um, I don't like my eyebrows to be too big. I want them to be medium sized kind of. This is really big for me because, I don't know, just is. Alright, but now I'm going to clean them up. And for when I clean them up, I use a brush like this. I'm not sure if it's going to focus because I'm not good with the camera moving thing. And I'm not even sure if I'm in focus now. Hope so. Um, and I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Natural. Not even sure. This is what bothers me the most. That's what I use and now I'm not in focus. All right, and that's what I use for the bottom of them, and then for the top is a different color. So yeah, and I use this brush. Um, I get some some of it on the brush, and I clean that up. Like so. Now they're all cleaned up. And then the excess that I have on, I just put it in the middle of my eyebrows. I always do that, don't know why. It turns out looking weird. But. And then I do the other eyebrow. Alright, and that's what I do with that, and the reason why the concealer is a little bit more lighter is so the bone, the highlight, I mean my brow bone is highlighted, sorry, cannot talk, tongue twister I guess. Alright, and then the next thing that I use is the Rimmel Match Perfection um, Concealer, it's a 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter, and this is, I'm in the color light medium. Alright, and what I like to do with this one, I just like to apply like so and this is a little bit more the color of my skin so this could just match with me and then from there what I like to do is I like to grab the same brush and I like to um, clean it up even more
All right, and that's how I do my eyebrows. We have made it to the end of how I do my eyebrows. Now, um, you guys must be thinking like, oh my God, the color difference, you know? Um, but at the end, I do, sorry, I just probably moved you like my whole camera right now. Let me just try to zoom you guys out. Yes, I know I look so different with eyebrows and no eyebrows my eyebrows look so dark um but now um what i'm gonna show you guys is how i cover it so what i like to do is i like to grab a foundation that is so um not cakey that is full coverage so i could cover this up um so i like to grab this black radiance color perfection oil free liquid makeup foundation and I'm in the color butterscotch and this is what it looks like and um, this is by far my favorite foundation it turns matte um, so it's great for the summer because you know you want a matte face not an oily um, and I'm just going to put three dots there and then I'm also going to put like the leftover that's on the little spatula thing here. And alright, and that's what I do. And now all I have to do is blend it out so it doesn't look too weird. And then I like to put a concealer and everything else and then go on with my makeup. Um, so I'll just be back when I'm done with that. Alright, so this is how my eyebrows turned out. Um, also, if you guys are wondering, yes, I did dye my hair. Um, I dyed it originally the color of the box that it was. It was blonde, but it turned out brown because my head, my head. My hair was black, like pure black. Um, I dyed my hair black twice, so it it turned really dark on me. Um, so yeah, this is how my eyebrows turned out. Um, if you guys do not have to have the perfect eyebrows, I think eyebrows are just a way to enjoy yourself and to express yourself. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, of course, give this video a thumbs up because you guys are amazing with the thumbs up. Um, I think last time's video, not last week's, last time's video, I think I got like 25 likes. So if you guys could get at least 10 likes or 30, that would be great. Also, thank you guys so much for um, making my dream come true and reaching to 500. My whole goal for this year was to have a thousand subscribers but it is so amazing to know that I have 500 subscribers and 500 people watching me and um, yeah so I love you guys all with all my heart and until next time's video I will see you guys again so bye